Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yorick. I'm wearing a lot of implanted medical devices that are or will soon be used to improve the way you feel. Yorick was first created when engineers of the Food and Drug Administration, the agency that regulates medical devices, started attaching new implantable devices to a skeleton. Soon, this man of many parts became a favorite teaching tool for members of the medical community as well as children, educating them about the revolution in modern implant technology. Millions of people get implanted every year with medical devices. Uh, hundreds of thousands with uh, intraocular lenses and a couple of hundred thousand orthopedic implants per year. So a fair percentage of the population has medical implants. Altogether, Yorick has 48 implants on him. An artificial heart, glass eye, a cochlear implant, even replacement parts for hips, knees, and joints. They represent half the number of medical devices currently being used by modern medicine. How they work and what they do prompt endless questions from Yorick's young audiences. What, what, happen, what would happen if you outgrew your device? Would you have to get a new device? On the thing under the arm, why do you need buttons on it? If you get an artificial heart, how could it pump? If you tore your ligament, could you recover and be able to play sports? I think that it's good for kids to become familiar with implants like this. They are not fearful of them. They, they become less of an emotional challenge if they're involved with them themselves or their parents or their grandparents. They're no longer an unknown. Tom Jenkins reporting.